okay so welcome back to this course so now in this section we will handle our uh, this search functionality and then the pagination and also the filters of this product all right so in this video i want to use this package that is called react.js pagination and that one to use for our pagination you can see that it is quite popular package and this is the demo you can see that here okay so first of all i need to install it and before that i have found some uh, silly mistakes while editing my previous videos if we go to my uh, actions product actions i have misspelled this dispatch and this is dispatch okay so that's that is dispatch so i simply replace this everywhere okay so that is this patch so we save it okay and also in the product and not in product in the product details so that is this patch save this one also close it home.js and this is also dispatch all right and i think so we are done here and also i have to go to my product details page and add the custom title i i forgot in my previous video the metadata so let's Let's put in here the meta data title is going to be the product dot name. In fact, I put it here when there is no loading. So we save it. Okay. So now first of all I have to handle this pagination. I simply first of all install this package, copy this one from here, go back in the, in the new terminal, and see it in front end and install this package and then we will configure it out. So now the package is installed successfully and if I go to my home JS and let's import here import the pagination from react dash js pagination okay and then i go to the bottom uh, out of this section i have this very pagination all right so we type here that uh, div and let's give it a class of d flex and also let's give it a class of justify content center to bring that pagination in the center and let's also set the margin top of five okay and that has really put here my pagination components so pagination so the first thing that i need to pass in here is the active page all right so active page is the current page on which the user is so that is going to be current page that i'm going to define in a minute okay so the active page is the current page then the second option is the items count per page so items count per page and that is going to be the results per page that i'm going to pass from my backend all right and then i also have to pass in here the total items okay so total items count is going to be the product count okay products count and also we have to define here on change okay whenever we change the pagination page 
okay we have to call a function set the function that is set current page number so whenever we change the pagination for example we go from page one to two we have to send a uh, set the current page number if we are on page one and if you click on two then we have to send a uh, set the current page number to two and also i'm going to define this method in a minute okay and after that we also have to define here the next page text let's put in here the next okay if i go back to npm website so you can see it, it is they are using the arrows here so instead of arrows i'm going to use here text okay then next page text then the previous page text that is going to be definitely previous okay and then the then the first page text if you don't want to go to the first page and then the last page that is going to be last this is going to be the first okay and then we have to also pass in here the item class that is the page dash item and also we have to bring in the link class that is going to be page dash link so we save it and let's first of all set the current page so i bring in my use state from here use state hook okay and then i simply set here const current page and then the set current page that will be equal to use state and we set the current page to one right and also we have to define this function which is the um, your set current page number simply copy it and after the use factor I simply put in here the function this one and we simply have to set the current page that is going to be the page number like this so we save it and that is current page current page we also have to bring in the results per page from the back end so that is res per page so we save it go to the back end product controller and let's also pass in here the res per page okay so now if i simply go back you will see here uh, we only have one page so first previous next last and then the one all right if i go to the inspect and go to the redux and in the state products my count is nine okay so it is showing me only one page in fact it has to show me two pages uh, because my ninth product is on my ninth page or oh, second page basically okay so i simply go back and also let me just go to my here and definitely be on the back end we have to pass in the page number right so page is equal to one or page is equal to two so for that i simply type here in the use effect in the get products i have to pass in the current page also okay whatever the current page is and we also have to pass it is as dependency here so we save it if i go to my uh where is product actions in the action product actions and in the all products i simply have to simply type here the back ticks 
and then question mark page equals to and you have to pass in here the uh, current page that will be passed in this function right here okay and by default the page number is going to be one so I'm gonna save it so and now we also basically have to go to our um, product reducer and we have to set the uh, pay results per page so that is going to be res per page so let's save it and now if I go back and reload it you will see here we have two pages so now I am on page one if I go to click on two now you can see that I am on my page two so if you go to page one you will see it on, on my page one so we have on page two we have the sand disk and on page one we have these and now if I go back to my back end I can change the products controller from eight to four save it and now if I reload the page you will see here we have now three pages so I click on next I go to the page number two next now on my third page if I click on first now I am on my first page you can see that here so our pagination is implemented successfully and also I want to add a condition here that for example if you only have one product in database then we don't have to display the pagination so for that I simply type here that if results per page is less than the products count okay for example if we have results per page is 4 and we only have two products in the database so 4 is less than 2 is false so it is not going to display the pagination right and if that is true less than or equal to then I will simply display it you know, paste it and now if I go back it is working properly so now we have successfully implemented the pagination on our front end I hope that you understand it is simple you have to install this package that is called pagination with react js pagination and you have to first of all pass in the active page which is the current page and we have set here the current page and choosing the use state hook and by default the value is going to be 1 alright and then to change the value of the current page I am using the set current page and we are changing the value in the set current page number that we have passed here on change we have to call this function and it will basically change the number uh, which is which, which it will pass from here which is the current page number we will set that here and also Whenever the front page number change, we have dispatched get products for that particular page. For example, the page number is one or two. All right. And we are also passing here the total number of products and results per page, and also some uh, whatever we want to display in the next previous page. All right. So it is quite simple. I hope that you understand. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I will implement this search functionality. Okay. So I will see you in the next video.